Um, hi, and welcome back. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to answer uh, this question. Did you ever think you were bad at math? And if so, how did you overcome this feeling? Um, and uh, I guess to answer this, to answer this part of the question, the answer is absolutely yes. I did think that I was certainly bad at math. And I guess one of the things I want to say about this is that I feel like there was a lot of empirical evidence indicating that I was bad at math. You know, I, and, you know, I think we can, there are, you know, varying degrees of, you know, I, how responsible I might have been for, uh, for this feeling. You know, I, I don't mean to claim that I always worked as hard as maybe I could have worked uh, in math classes growing up. But, you know, I think that, you know, uh, getting D's and C's on exams gives you some empirical evidence that you are not one of the people that is, uh, that is kind of going to be good at math. You know, in addition to that, I kind of remember, you know, being told by, you know, teachers and, you know, in very, you know, in very certain terms, don't take this class. It's beyond you. I, I remember, you know, very, you know, being told basically that don't take calculus. It's beyond you. You're not going to understand. It. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I think that there, you know, I definitely thought that I was bad at math, and I think that there was a lot in my life indicating this, like kind of pointing me towards uh, this conclusion. Um, and I guess, uh, as for the second part of this question, if so, how did you overcome? Uh, you know, I guess the, really the number one factor, like I, I think I, you know, clearly I needed a lot of help to be able to remediate. You know, I, I know that there, you know, there were a lot of uh, mechanical things, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, learning uh, basic math concepts, concepts like subtraction, concepts like uh, division um, that I needed to kind of, you know, that I def certainly needed to remediate on, things that I just, you know, frankly never understood very well. And, you know, I think that there was a mechanical component to it that I just needed to do all that stuff. I needed to be able to uh, take the time to learn all that stuff. But one of the things I do want to just say about how I really, I think, was able to overcome this feeling about how I was bad at math. Um, you know, I started working with the Khan Academy in 2007. Around 2009, um, I remember that... Uh, some videos started to get posted where uh, Sal Khan was uh, giving interviews and kind of uh, giving presentations and talks. And I remembered thinking, like, you know, the, this guy is, uh, is uh, you know, I think clearly narrating my experience that I had that kind of led me to this conclusion, led me to the conclusion that I was bad at math. You know, and again, I think that you could, you know, there are different things that you could say. Was I always working, you know, as hard as I should have been in elementary school or middle school to be able to understand a math class? You know, was, like how much was my fault? How much, you know, was, you know, was, was kind of external? But I think that the effect of it was, you know, was basically this, that, you know, I kind of had a lot of evidence pointing me towards the conclusion that, that, uh, that I was bad at math, and there was really no way, uh, at least not any way that wouldn't put, you know, a very undesirable label on your forehead, uh, uh, saying that you were anything other than bad at math. I mean, I, like, I think I would, you know, if I was in high school, and saying, you know, I, I don't understand subtraction very well, like that, I don't, you know, I, I don't think it matters whether or not you think, you, you know, I, I, I think you are clearly labeled as being bad at math if you say something like that. If you, you know, if you say, like, I, you know, I'm sorry, I just don't understand uh, this basic concept I was supposed to learn in third grade. Regardless of whether, you know, like, maybe most of the people in the class really don't, you know, don't understand the concept, or at least don't under con understand the concept on a deep level either. Um, so really, I think that one of the things that was kind of instrumental in uh, helping me overcome uh, that feeling was, uh, you know, was getting to hear, I guess, kind of the Khan Academy philosophy, or getting to hear that, you know, uh, I guess there were 
you know, there, there were other people that I guess had my experience specifically in math class, but really with education in general, you know, I, uh, I, um, you know, and I don't want to kind of go off on a tangent about this, but I think that there's a lot that there isn't really anything built into, I guess, what we think is education today that that acknowledges at all that people learn stuff at different paces. You know, I, I think that there's a lot built into education that seems to acknowledge that there are smart people and not so smart people. Uh, or that seems to acknowledge that, you know, some people are destined to uh, be, you know, good at something and other people are destined to be not so good at something. I, I think that there's a lot built in there. And also I want to say, like, this isn't, you know, a public-private school uh, thing for me either. Like, I even went to a private elementary school and then after elementary school I went to a public school. Um, you know, and I, I, you know, I, I even think that, you know, what, you know, I, I guess the education I got in, in private school was, if anything, worse than, you know, I think the, or, or this mantra of, you know, or this lack of a, uh, lack of an acknowledgement that people, that it's possible for people to learn things differently or at different paces, uh, you know, was, uh, I, I think, um, uh, you know, it, it was uh, very refreshing to hear, uh, you know, when I heard some of those interviews that started to get posted on, on Khan Academy, it was very refreshing to hear that, I guess, other people kind of thought this, like, kind of thought that, you know, uh, that, uh, um, that people do learn things at different paces, and that there's really no way in our current system to address basic um, uh, uh, basic gaps in knowledge that you might have from, from years ago. Uh, so anyway, I guess, uh, that is, uh, my answer. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.